Hi, this is a Unity tutorial of a selling board. I just feel I should share this with you guys. And right in here, I have a boat, and that's a fisherman in there. I call that fisherman Tony Montana. For this guy out there that would like to know who Tony Montana is, that's Tony Montana right there in the boat. Okay, that's my favorite Tony Montana. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you guys how to put something like this together. It's actually very simple. All of the uh, assets here, they are, from, they are all from the asset store. Apart from the cube, everything is from the asset store, including the, the sky, the boats, trees, and the buildings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys into Unity development environment and we'll put something like this together. So let's do that now guys. Okay guys, let's start a new project entirely. So I'm going to click on new. And right here, let's select 3D. And I'm going to click on create. There. Okay, now that the development environment is ready, I'm going to need some assets. So I'll go to my folder. We already have those assets. You guys can download all of these assets in the asset store. The first one I need is going to be all sky free, followed by building apartment, fishing boat, the standard asset. You do need that. Street drops. USSC and White City. You need all of those access store. I'm now I'm going to drag them. Let me include this. I just need that. I made that up anyway. Drag it and just dump it right inside my asset right there. Okay, guys. All of the assets are ready. For me to work with so have a good look at the various assets that i have in there okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on create and i will create a folder this folder i'm going to call it i'm going to call it strict then the next one i'm going to create another folder that will folder i will call it material Let's create another one and we just call that material. So gently click on it and let's let's complete the name. Alright, now let the material. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna select this very material, I'll come right in here, and let's select material itself. So that material I'm gonna call it brick. And this very brick that I have in here, I have all the various bricks that I'm going to use in here. So make sure your brick is selected. I'm going to now select this very one here. Okay, let me see that. So select your material and drag brick number one that I have. Okay, you can use whatever kind of brick. Go online, you should be able to see some of those. The choice is yours. And on the other hand, you don't have to use any bricks at all. There, that's my brick ready. Now, the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to go straight into the standard asset here. And inside the standard asset, what I need is the environment. So, inside the environment, let's select this water. Yeah, very good. And we can see water four here. And let's select the prefab. There we go. And the water that I want is going to be the waterfall advance. Okay, that's the waterfall advance there. Now I'm just going to set the following coordinates for the waterfall. I'm going to make the, the scale. Let's scale that to about 60. We can't do anything with the volume. It's going to be 1. So the Z axis, I'm going to make that 60 as well. And the position, the X axis, I'm going to make that minus 10 and the y axis let's say minus three and up here the position i'm going to make that two thousand two hundred 
19,320. Okay, so something like that. Okay, you can see the water here. Now, make sure your waterfall is ready. And if you guys come in here, see where we have the main texture. The texture is already selected for you, so I'm gonna leave my texture like that. So it's a small wave texture that has been officially selected, and I think it's very good. I like it, so I'm gonna leave that alone. But I'm gonna come down here and see where I have my wave. I'm gonna make this one here the direction. I'm gonna make that 1.4. Six nine and so on, but um, let's just run it and see how it does gonna look like. There we go, guys. Look at that wave. Yep, that is very good. So, as you can see, that's a huge. In fact, that's an ocean. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna close that. Now the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to add a cube. So let's come in here and just click on that. Let's go to 3D object and select this cube here. Yeah, that's my cube there. Now, let's change the following coordinate for the cube. I'm going to make that minus 505. Then I will set the other one to minus the, that's for the position, the Y axis. I'm going to set that to minus 300 and 24 the z axis will be 353 why for the rotation i will leave the rotation as 000, zero, zero. now let's come to the scale the scale is going to be minus 500 and okay 533 that's fine and the x axis y axis x axis is minus 533 y axis i'm going to make that maybe 30 let's go for 34 and the z axis i'm going to make that 3547 there we go i want this cube to be above the water a little bit so okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make this y axis here for the position let's just make that zero there we go all right then the other thing we want to do is that is our cube right there okay the cube i'm going to change the name of the cube to maybe land or something let's gently click on it or you can just come in here and just change it there we go that's the name changed the other thing i want to do to this cube is if you guys can still recall my the material that I created earlier on, I'm going to drag it and drop it there on the cube. Now, you see the, the tile. I'm going to change that to about 16. Okay, then the other thing is, I don't like this angle the way it is, so I want it to, to be resting at the horizon. That's what I want. So I'm going to reposition this land. It's actually the cube, I just call it land. So I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this rotator here and just let's go this way, click and just rotate it. And let's see. There we go. I think I I think I'm there. So the other thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select this, maybe just push it, you know bring it back in so that's right out there okay all right let's run it and see how that's gonna look like there we go guys that is it it's like it's actually at the horizon so when the ship is coming the ship is actually coming from the sea heading towards the city so that is good now before I continue, I'm going to change this card. So let's stop this from running. So to change the 
background of the sky or the sky box as it's called I'm gonna go straight into Windows here and let's go into rendering and there we go that's lighting setting and inside the lighting setting there's environment there drop it down and you should be able to see the sky box material so I'm gonna click on that and let's go right up we might see one that we can use let's see I've seen some okay maybe I'll set you for one of these right okay double click on that and just there that's my sky look at that that's not too bad okay now the next thing I want to do is I need to start adding some buildings there this here or maybe add the boat first and add the building okay now let's come in here and get a boat you see here you will also find this on you will actually find this in the asset store it's called fishing boat okay go to the material of the fishing boat and in there no that's not it not inside the material that is it actually it's a prefab drag it and drop it right there the boat is there you might not be able to see it properly so let's change some of the properties of this boat i'm going to make it a little bit larger so that you guys can see so i'm going to make that 50 that looks huge by 50 and by 50 we can always change that and okay it's because it's not well positioned so I'm right down, just push it down because it's not on the sea at all. I'm gonna come right in here and let's change this to I'm gonna make that a team. So that's the boat right there, and this one will be minus seven, and here we make that 200 plus 267. Okay, now look at the boat. It's looking like the way we want it to look. Now, one more thing. That's minus 88. Okay. Then, what else do we need? I think that we do for now. So, the boat is now heading towards the land. Okay, let's see. That is it. That's how I want it to look like. And that's my main man there. The nickname for it is Tony Montana. So, end that. Now, to make this boat rolling, we might as well just come in here and create as follows. So, let me collapse all of this. The building thing is no big deal. So, come in here, select that. Come right in here. Let me select C sharp. And in there, I'm going to give that a name. I'll just call it, yeah, boat. That's fine. There we go. And make sure this script is selected. Select it. You can then drag it straight into the boat if you want. There's no code in there yet. Grab the boat, the script, and just dump it in there. Now, open up the script. The script is officially inside the boat. There's nothing there. Look at it. So go back to the script. Click on open. And that should open up the Visual Studio development environment. Right inside my coding environment, the first thing I like to do is I have to declare, or I'm going to declare the following variables. So it's going to be public variable though. So let's come right here. Okay. And the very first one is going to be public floats and that will be speed. And the speed I'm going to make it approximately 40. The next one I'm going to declare another one I'll call it talk. So it's a float as well, and that is talk. Park rate, okay, that's fine. 
speak down to about 40 as well. We can always reduce it. There we go. And finally, I'm going to add a rigid body, which means I have to add a rigid body to the to my boot. So the rigid body is R B. So that is the objects. Now I'm going to come into stats. Okay, the function void stats. Let's say rigid body R B equals get components and what component do I want you to get I want you to get the component rigid body rigid body and just enter parenthesis here there and inside the update here we'll get rid of this comment inside the update as well and I want to get the boat moving so to do that what we need to do is we're going to create uh, an object this object I'm going to call it move horizontal so that's enough so I'm going to say input dot get access so whatever you input we get that and that is going to be horizontal there we go and I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for the vertical axis so I'm going to change this to maybe V E R vertical and this one will be vertical okay horizontal and vertical they actually function inside the development environment of uh, unity so it's going to be recognized so let's now call vector 3 the vector 3 is set takes in three argument and this vector 3 object that I'm about, about to create I'm going to call it selling selling it was new vector new vector 3 takes in three argument the first one is going to be my horizontal movement that's my very first argument and the next one I'm just going to call that zero and the third one will be the vertical movement comma there there we go enter all right now let's see rigid body rigid body dot add talk there we go and this talk is going to be in the following direction as zero then the next one will be movement that is the horizontal movement and multiply by speed my speed is 40 which I've already defined here then I was then say multiplied by time dot delta uh, to be in actual time dot delta time comma zero f there that is the talk movement now another movement is going to be rigid body dot force dot add force to the movement so that's going to be for the sailing okay which is the object that I created in here then I'm going to multiply this by the speed and the torque rate up there so multiply by the speed and by torque rates so copy all of those paste them in here grab the torque rate paste it right here and time dot delta as well grab this and just dump it in here there so that takes care of the movement of the boats 
but there's one thing make sure it's safe first there's one thing i need to do and that is to assign a rigid body to the boat so let's go straight to the boat minimize this and there make sure the boat is selected that is the boat okay now coming to where we have add component if you can if you guys can notice those are the variables that i created okay now come right in here add components and let's add rigid body so we've added rigid body to the boat okay fishing boat so right in here now the mass i'm going to make that one the drag i'm going to make the drag one as well angular drag i will make that one and right here use gravity i'm going to uncheck that else my boat will just sink okay i'm going to try it out but before i do that let's save it first so let's save it as i'm going to call it mini boat yeah save so let's come up here and just click on run there we go that's how it's looking so now let's click on or just hold on to the arrow key and let's see our boats there we go guys look at that okay now let's turn that's the talk doing this one thing now let's turn left as well that is very good Yeah, that's fine so the boat is working the way I expect it to work but there's one thing I need to do is to add camera yes you can always add a camera straight onto the boat but I don't want to do that I like to write a very simple line of code because uh, I want the camera to be following the boat it's not the boat carrying the camera so what I'll do is select camera here okay in there i'm going to write a script first of all let's just select this and come right here let's click on script and i'll just call that camera control or camera controller and camera controller where is it i think it's going to be in here i believe the camera controller is in here somewhere let's go inside Asset, where is it? There we go. That's it. Double click on that. There we go. That's my camera controller. So the first thing I like to do is, or that I'm gonna do will be, I'm gonna create a variable. I'll call that. That will be a global one, and that's going to be game object. Game object. Let's give it a variable name. I'm gonna call that player. I can't even call it boat. Yeah, I'm gonna call it boat. There we go. Okay, boat is fine. Then I'm gonna create another one. That'll be a private vector three. And vector three, I want you to offset. There. Now the offsets. Let it say let's say void offset equals transform transform that position as getting the exact position of the camera minus boot dot transform dot the camera position itself there okay then the other thing is we need to update it and to update that i think late update would be an ideal function to use late update so to late update this let's use transform dot position equals boot dot position and plus offset there so that should take care of the camera following the boat so make sure that it's saved 
and I'm gonna go straight into my program so let's go straight in there so what I would then do is make sure this camera drag it let's see have I done that no I haven't so I'm gonna drag this lines of code drag it and drop it right inside the camera okay and that is it right there now the object that I'm talking about that will be the fishing boat drag the fishing boat and drop it right in here that's all there is to it and if you run it what will happen is the camera will will be following the boat now let's run it you see that see the camera is following the boat as the boat moves there we go and let's just change the direction move it the other way you see the camera is following it okay all that is left for us to do now is to add some buildings in there and just make it look like an urban area to end that so to achieve that what i'm going to do is just come straight into let's zoom in a little bit come straight in here and just add my building so let's go into building here let me let me select white city inside white city there's some building there that i regularly use i'm going to come right down here number 13. white city is also available on asset store all of these buildings that i'm using they are all in the asset store so i'm going to make that one by one by one because it's far away you will not be it's just very close to the horizon so it's going to be one by one by one okay let's readjust that i don't need three of those so just click on that right click that is it right there right click and just duplicate one and the one i've just duplicated move that away move it yeah and duplicate that again and move that this way okay that's good so what i'm going to do is i will create a game an empty game object here just call that buildings and drag this building straight in there drag this as well and this just to tidy up things now let's add some more buildings from here so the other building i'm going to be adding is uh, from building apartment building apartment is also in the asset store i copy that from asset store so there they are let's get that in there and reduce the size to me that was about 12 or maybe 12 by 12 by 12 so i'm just going to copy that across hold on to the control click and drag so there that's the building apartment the other one is this one's grab that and drop it here and let's increase the size as well 12 by 12 by 12 there we go now let me add some trees now let's come right down here you see inside the standard asset i have the trees in there okay right inside the standard asset where is it there we go so to get hold of those trees make sure you select standard asset so that's if your development environment is like this and let's come right here you see where we have this drop down drop it down let's select two column layer and i'm going to select middle and that should actually give me my make my search easier so if we come right down we should be able to see the the trees just hanging around i think it's in some material let's see the trees should be here somewhere okay i'm gonna slow down so that i can find it yeah let's come in here 
There we go, those are the trees. Yeah. Click, drag, and drop. We'll drop it in there. Change the size to about 10 by 10 by 10. There. And I'm going to just copy the trees across. Right click, create a duplicate, and just copy it across and then change the whole appearance so all that all that i'll be doing is just to copy and paste but first thing first let's create an empty game object for the trees as well so this empty game object i'm going to call it trees there and drag the very first tree i think that i've actually used to drag them in there so i will now populate the the land using the trees and the buildings and get back to you guys okay guys that is how it's looking now with the trees and the and the building so if i run it let's run it so that you see how that looks like there we go guys that is how it's looking so let's move the boats there we go look at that see that so what I want to do now is I'm going to add just some boats hanging around. So maybe one or two. Let's make that three. So I'm going to end it. And I will now go inside the UCSS boats that I that I downloaded from the asset store. Just drag one right there. And I'll resize it drag another one let's resize them boats we'll move this one here so we'll just resize it and get back to you guys and those are the boats so I've resized them so I'm gonna run it then you see how it it all looks like There we go guys, those are the boats there, this is like the pirate boats, and this, those are two boats there, okay, so we we'll run it and you see, oh that's how it's looking, I'm just going to move this my fishing boat, and let's move the fishing boat nearer, you can see the camera following the fishing boat, okay, and that's how you create your own sailing boat unity so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe and you can always also join to become a member of my channel you all have a nice day now bye for now stay home and stay safe bye